Alright, hopefully people can hear me. I think everything's set up right. So, tonight, I'm just going to pause the sound of the SNES 9X first. Alright, so my uh, my goal for tonight is to, to stream um, me trying to play this this ASCII um, Super L5, which you can see here, I've got the box. Um, so it's a one-handed controller. So the uh, the back of it, you can see here, it's got the four face buttons. So they're sort of aligned in a very strange way. Um, so this is B, A, uh, Y, and X. Um, the the front um, you can actually rotate this so that you can play it in a different orientations depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and then here's the L and R button, which are are fairly conveniently placed uh, so that you can press both the left and uh, L button at the same time, and so start and select are up here. So obviously, um, you know the the big problem with this controller, and we're we're probably going to see that tonight. It's just it's really hard to grip onto this. So you you have to try and press the the D pad at the same time as as the uh, as the uh, as you're pressing the back buttons, and it's just not very pleasant, as far as I can tell. Um, on the bottom, there's actually some uh, some uh, uh, auto buttons. So if they're set the wrong way, <laughs> then you obviously notice right away. So right now, I think up is uh, the turbo is is off. So hopefully that's all right. Um, just going to turn down the sound on my end a little bit so that it's not blasting my ears off. And then we'll give F0 a try. So F0, I think, is plausible to use this because uh, you can press the left and the L at the same time with your thumb. Uh, the, the big issue, of course, is, is dealing with um, uh, pressing the uh, B button um, at the same time. You have to... Uh, try and uh, use the control pad. So we'll, we'll give it a shot though. Yeah, this, this controller is for RPGs. Some some joke that it's uh, for playing these uh, uh, date simulators, so you have uh, one hand free. For me, I have one hand free to, to drink my tea. Anyway, I think I'm gonna try it with the, the control pad up straight. See how that goes. Anyway, we'll give it a shot. Let's see how bad I am. shot. As you can see, it's very... like, you have to really grip hard with your fingers on the sides in order to be able to play this very effectively. It would be nice if it had, like, a handle at the bottom, so that you didn't have to do this. Very, very difficult. One hand to draw the maps. <laughs> Not doing so well. It's pretty tough. 
I mean, I, I think you could get used to this. It's, it's just... It's just the, the controller is too small for my hand. This is meant for children, I think. Japanese hands that are much smaller than my, my big hands. I'm in trouble now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, like it, it's just hard to grip. Like maybe if there was a sort of a finger hold, like a better finger hold, or even if it was just bigger, it would be much easier. We'll try some more here. Try some more F0. As far as I know, there there are two of these controllers. There's also the ASCII grip, which is a much bigger and com more comfortable controller. But the reality is, for most games, that controller is not practical because the X and Y buttons are sort of on the side. So, I mean, for F0, it, it's probably not such a big deal, but. Um, for games that require the Y button, like any kind of platforming game, it, it's just not a practical controller. This controller is, is far more practical, although the ergonomics of it are, are not so good. Maybe I should try it in a different configuration. You know, <laughs> how would I hold this? Maybe if I if I hold the controller down like this, so that it's maybe yeah, maybe this this will be better. We'll see. The ASCII grip is better if the game only uses the A and B buttons, or for R RPGs. For something like F-Zero, where you're supposed to use the L and R buttons, like, if you didn't use the L and R buttons, it would be okay, but, like, yeah, from, from my, like, I was trying this a, a couple of weeks ago at the SNES party, with the ASCII grip, it, it, it's a much nicer feeling um, controller, but for most games it's not practical. Yeah, this, this is not good because I, in this kind of, uh, uh, the way I, I'm holding this, I, I cannot press the uh, L button. If I, I hold it up more, I don't know. Try it out some more. Just not playing as well.
is no good at all. N you know, I I think if you like the the reason why I got this is because uh, I met this guy a few weeks ago and, and he he could not use his right hand, so um, I was investigating this and. I think if you were to use this for a long time, you, you should probably like create some sort of strap for the bottom so that your hand is more onto the controller. Yeah, just give me a minute. I have to I got a message. I can deal with that later. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe I'll try a different game. So let's try Mario Kart. I mean, it'll be the same, but the game doesn't go as fast, so... Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you, you really need to use two fingers to to be able to to shoot. Both the the items as well as the uh, holding down the accelerator. I think this is more practical than than F Zero though, because the speed is not so much. get the items and I <laughs> completely go off course. It, it was starting to become more comfortable as I went along. Well, it, it's just the having to press down on the D-pad and also holding on to the, the buttons at the same time just makes it really hard to control. I mean, you probably could get used to it. It would take some practice, though. Also, accidentally hitting the brakes sometimes because the brake button is right beside the accelerator under my finger. Jeez. 
Jesus. I didn't come last. <laughs> oh man. This is giving my thumb a good workout. <laughs> we'll try it again. Ah, I lost my shell. Where did you find something like this? I, I got this from uh, Dieter von Laser. And uh, he, he got this in Akihabara, I think. To, to keep pressing down on the B button. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. That's completely tough. Yeah, just give me a moment. I have to send a message to my friend. I'll be just a minute. All right, it's, it's completely hot in here, actually. <laughs> I'm going to pick this off. All right, so Mario Kart. I've tried some racing. Let's try a platformer. This is going to be terrible. Gotta try the first platformer. So, I 
think this is a game where changing the controls might be very ideal. So yeah, you see here, like, the X and Y buttons are, are below my fingers. So I think in order for this to work, I'm going to need to remap buttons a bit. I can select button. Select button. It's not working. <laughs> I guess we're stuck with these controls. Maybe I can just like... may not be as impractical as Oops. trying to play with um, two fingers. I just have to get used to this kind of setup. Without needing to press the L and R buttons, it, it's not so bad. Played the first level of Super Mario Brothers without getting hit. Can you imagine? What are the chances? <laughs> This feels a lot more comfortable the way I have my fingers set up for this game. Ugh, first hit. Ah, oh, ooh, saved! Hey, anyway, I, I think with a platformer like Super Mario Brothers, it, it's not so bad. Like, I can, I can play this pretty good without, and I'm not even used to this yet. Being able to, to hold my my finger down here makes a huge amount of difference. Oh. <coughs> I still need to get used to it though. Oh. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, playing a game that re that like this is not too bad with this controller. Oh. 
Oh. I still need to get used, like, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's easy to see, but yeah, I have to basically use two of my fingers to control. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, th this is not so bad. This is a lot better than F-Zero. <laughs> Thanks, worldly offset. Ah. Oh. Not even gonna bother trying to get the mushroom. It's just too risky. Oh yeah! Beating the first Bowser with one-handed controller. Oh yeah! Used to go past first Bowser. <laughs> I handed that one quite well. Well, I guess you could say that. One up. The, the problem with this that I'm not used to is that the the Y and A buttons are sort of the opposite of how I would press it on a face controller. Ah. Dirt Racer. We could try. <laughs> you want me to try Dirt Racer? <laughs> I was playing that at the SNES party just because uh, uh, there's this guy Peeps. I, I don't know if he's watching. He 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 was playing this and he said it was the worst game he'd played on the SNES. Now this is this is interesting because actually this is not so bad because it's kind of one-handed controller or one-hand button controls. Oh, I got through it. Get through the swimming level. This is this is this is actually harder. Yeah, 
hat. I actually picked up. I actually picked up Dirt Racer before I even lived in a country where it was PAL. So I had the cart, and then I actually had no way of actually playing it <laughs> until I moved to Australia back in 2010. Then I finally got to try it. But yeah, it's it's absolutely horrible to control. Oh, ah, I got greedy. <laughs> I remember playing this when I was like seven or eight. This level, I'm like, this level's hard. Yeah, I, I think the layout of the controls are, you know, for for this game, it's not so bad because sort of Y and Y and uh, is it uh, X do the same thing, maybe. Yeah, I mean, for this game, it, it it's not so bad, like. I'm, I'm getting used to this now. But I mean, this is Super Mario Brothers where, you know, you don't usually have to go left that often. So it it's makes it fairly easy. pal mods you know I did actually try to mod I, I had a spare Super Nintendo like a US one and I tried to mod it myself but I I was not very good at soldering and I, it doesn't work it didn't work <laughs> I also had a pro action replay 3 which is supposed to be able to play pal but uh, I think it was broken didn't really work Okay, maybe this time I'll go a bit slower. Winter Winter Gold FX is pretty neat as a game because uh, it was developed by a bunch of demo seniors. So they they just made it into like a glorified demo. Like, they probably did the graphics first, and then realized, oh, we have to make a game. I got through Bowser! Haha! <laughs> the second Bowser. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers with this controller is feasible. I think the, the next test will be Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario Brothers 2, I think, is going to be a lot more difficult because it, it requires the Y button a lot more. But we'll see. It's also not as run intensive as most Mario games, so. We'll give it a shot. This is not nearly as comfortable. You can do it, Toad. You can pick it up. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, th this this is much harder than Super Mario Brothers one. Mistake. This game, the music in this game sounds really nice in headphones. I didn't realize the, the stereo that they did in this version so much. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it is quite tricky with the... having to, to use the Y... or going left and right a lot more. Goodness. This, this is not so easy, this game. No, I didn't want to do that. Again, the, the, the problem is trying to press, trying to, to keep, do like something with the Y button and holding the controller at the same time, or the, the control pad. It, it's really tricky. It's instinctively, you want to press the, uh, like, you, you basically need to, to learn how to, like, press down with your thumb somehow to, to make sure you can press the bottom buttons easily. Because, like, it, it does take a bit of effort to actually press the, the Y button down. Like, there, there's no way you can just press the Y button like this. So that that's a really big weakness with this controller. It, it, you you have to be you know somehow holding it like this. Let's see, I messed up. Like it, it would be good if it had a handle so you could press that press the Y button much easier. If I turn it on an angle, let me see if that makes a difference. Yeah, golf games. I mean, the the other one-handed controller I play try the ASCII grip. It it's much easier to to deal with, but. This is even worse. <laughs> it, it, I almost wonder if it would be like 
you could like have pressed down on something. I don't know. Like, I, I'm trying to think how I might be able to do something. Unless you could like hold it the other way around. <laughs> Maybe that's an option. Hold the controller upside down. Let's see. Let's try this. That, that's not really practical. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you could like press, have something that like puts, holds it in place so that you can put pressure on the Y button without having to, to press down with your thumb. Like maybe I know it's one-handed controller, but let me try this. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this is better. Yeah, just just having it sort of anchored would probably make it easier. I don't know if it's <laughs> stick it under something. I don't know. Like th this is really hard. Uh, just like if there was something to grip play it like this but you know in the later levels you, you have to press the Y button oops <sighs> see I'm I'm really gripping tightly with my um, with my uh, ring finger and it's better, but like it really will tire out my finger very quickly. And I'm still not playing this great. Back down to the bottom. Wolfenstein. Let me try Wolfenstein. Let's try this. Let's try Wolfenstein. Game's terrible, but maybe it'll work. This is a game you can play with a mouse. Why is there be a shoot?
I guess if you really, really are desperate to play Wolfenstein, this this is a possible way of doing it. Gold. <laughs> yeah, Tendo couldn't have any of that. Gotta kill the Nazis. Accessing the L and R buttons for this maybe not so easy. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah! It, this game is another one of these games where you you have to press L and R very rapidly in succession, and then pressing two of the face buttons so it, it's not so easy let's try this dirt dirt racer you've been requesting this why not maybe it'll make the controls better I really doubt it, but <laughs> we can hope. I don't know how well this will play on my computer because it's already pretty overloaded. It's only got two cores. Not that this can play any worse. the question mark guess oh I'm, I'm supposed to get that I think maybe not what the heck is that what is the question mark hmm it's reading uh, today view, view says that um, the way that this game initialize the memory, it's possible for the game to to freeze and lock up depending on how the randomness that your SNES is set up to do. It's just kind of interesting. I mean this 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 game one handed is is no more impractical than a two handed controller, I think. Yay, I exploded. 
be nice if it had the arrow where I'm supposed to go on all the time. Wants me to go left and then wants me to go right. I'm like, what? Pick a side. Maybe I'm just supposed to go straight. There's so much pop up. This is like not such a. Early 3D. As a question mark. That's supposed to be water, maybe? Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not entirely clear where I'm supposed to go. This game is so terrible. Am I supposed to go over there? Squash mark number four. Just turn around, apparently. Uh, let's see, is that? I don't know where I'm supposed to go now because there's no arrows. Oh, there's one. I exploded. Your head explode. That might be it. There's more numbers. Congratulations. Bora. Oh, Alright, I'm going to try a different type of game. So we tried a platformer, we tried some racing. What should we do next? i to try Zelda. Let me find that. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. I've been playing the crap out of Zelda Randomizer as of late. Time to try it. One-handed. Yeah, you, you can see me here. I have to, like, press down on the con front of the controller to press the back buttons. There's going to be a huge problem in this game.
playing randomizer so long, I forgot how the, the beginning of the game went. Okay, that's A button, I guess. goes. How quickly do you think I'll die after I get the sword? You think I'll make it into the basement? I bet I'll die well before I get to Zelda. Swordless. I hate it in randomizer when you don't you have this you have the swords but you don't get one for like an hour into the race or into the the seed Best way to hold this thing is a huge challenge. Like trying to slice the sword. Yeah, upside down might be possible, but I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm wondering if the best way would be to have something that holds the controller in place. Like, you would have to construct something to be able to do that. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Yeah, having a glove would make a lot of sense, and I don't know why the developers wouldn't have made something like that. Unless it's it's purely because everybody has different size of hands. Whoops. Sock. Do you want me to try that? I'll go grab a sock. I'll do that if I get to pass the, the guard. It's worth a shot, I mean. Yeah, just give me a minute. I'll, I'll go grab a sock and we'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> just give me a minute here.
Okay. Got it. It's red sock. It's pretty tight. Doesn't fit my feet very well. <laughs> Alright, so how should we get this sock going? Fancy fun posts. Limited trademark. The sock is very tight. Just to let you know, it's very tight. <laughs> I'll still have to get used to it. I think it is an improvement. Like, I, I... Trying to find the the optimal thing here. Sorry, I, I don't have any bots in my channel. Sorry. <laughs> I've been playing for like about an hour. I'm not that sophisticated, like I haven't streamed anything in several months. That's why I had technical difficulties. I Twitch had changed some things and I had to fix things. <laughs> This, this sock is is clean. It's it's not a used sock. I can guarantee you. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Yeah, th this does make it more practical. I think. How I go through the dungeon or the It's still pretty hard. I like the red sock that I picked. I thought that was, it's the most colorful sock I had in my drawer.
Getting like no rupees. No bottle for me. This is the real test. <laughs> Gamer sock. Try to put this on a little bit more because right now it is quite tight. No, it, it still needs to be tighter. <laughs> Trying to find the most comfortable configuration. That's still not tight enough. Try this. <laughs> Girl socks, what do you mean? Well, these, these socks, I got them in Japan because I needed socks, but in Japan, they don't have feet as big as mine, so these socks are too small on my feet. I'm so used to doing randomizer, I checked the small heart piece on the ledge there. <laughs> of course it's going to be a heart piece, you dummy. That's going to be the real test when I have to start using the, like, the... Uh, boomerang or something. <laughs> the multi-button games are, are going to be more challenging here. Just gave me green rupees. Bombs. Nope. I 
think there's bombs in the well. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the normal version of this game. Yeah, I don't think you could play something like Mega Man X with, with this controller. I mean, maybe you could, but you would have to play it a bit differently than normal, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's the bombs. Suck. It's not so good when I have to figure out which is the start button. Yeah, if, you know, if every game could have remap controls, it would be so good, especially with, like, the one-handed controller. I'm gonna have to take off my wedding ring because it's just really not comfortable <laughs> with how tight the sock is. Yeah, that's maybe a bit better. Position my fingers. Where's the buttons? Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see if we can get some more bombs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> I don't, I think you would need to design something that would make it so that your thumb isn't pressed down so hard against the, uh, let's see, maybe if I adjust this a bit more, like, if you could have your thumb sticking out somehow, like maybe, I have it so that it goes around the control pad. Whoops, <laughs> I turned on the turbo. That's tough. Take off my watch too, that's... <clears throat> Like, 
it would be nice if the controller was like wider this way and then then you you could stretch your fingers out because right now you I have to curl my fingers so much and it, it's just really tiring after a while yeah this This is really tough. <laughs> I'm gonna try a different game. This is... So much damage. Select's supposed to bring up the quit screen. Maybe the select button isn't so good on this controller. Oh well, I don't need to save. <coughs> Sorry. A bit of a sore throat. Let me think. You know, you gotta try an RPG of some sort, maybe. This, this is sort of what the game was designed for. Fast forwarding just to make this more practical. There we go. Maybe this is a bit more practical, obviously. It's not so dependent on speed. It would still be nice if the mapping of, or the buttons were, you know, a bit more stretched out, but as I said at the beginning, this controller is meant for somebody with much smaller hands than me. Sorry, Rosa, I'm fast forwarding. Always annoyed me how you can never skip this part. Because it's so slow.
Come on, I want to battle. Those enemies just don't want to fight. There we go. It's like my favorite game, except maybe Yoshi's Island. I can never decide. I will. I don't even want to attempt Yoshi's Island with this controller. It just, it just be so hard. I think. I should have made the the battle speed a bit faster, maybe. When I was a kid, I absolutely loved the backgrounds. They're they're really good. Yeah, the X button is here. <laughs> I'm having trouble just getting used to that. Check things out. Back down. Great dancers. Ask at the counter. Some treasures here. Not that you ever need them in this game because it's so easy. I can't think of any situation where you'd need to use a Cure 1 item. Unless you are just playing bad. See, th this is not so bad. You, you don't have to... <clears throat> so this, this controller is probably meant for RPGs, so... Oh, I thought there was a secret chest in there, but I guess not. There's one. I do remember there's one in the waterfall. Watch the do watch the dancer do stuff. Having the sock for something like this would still be good. It's just kind of painful on the hand after a while because it's too tight. Lots of fun as a kid looking for these secret passages. There's also a Final Fantasy randomizer called Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. I don't care for it as much as the Link to the Past randomizer though. It just seems there's too many options. It's kind of almost too random, maybe? I don't know. Maybe sometime I'll try it again. X button. It's in an awkward spot.
Like the pass randomizer is so awesome. It's a wonder that Nintendo doesn't like give them a cease and desist order because it's so popular. I don't know how they do it. Nintendo is turning a blind eye to this. I I don't understand how they do it. Certainly, you can't play this as fast as with a one-handed controller just because of the uh, inability to, you know, like, press the bottom buttons without having to hold down the front. Need an extra thumb. If we had two thumbs, then it would be possible. If I get needled here, no, I'm all right. I don't know if I ever told the story of when I got Final Fantasy II. Got it for my birthday in 1993, I think. This would have been 11. Absolutely love this game. I think the first day I had this game, I played it for like seven hours. First RPG I ever owned. It's just gathering. turned into mist. I'm gonna get mist. I think when I was a kid we were like trying to figure out how to get the mist away. So we like were using heal items on it and stuff. And <laughs> that was totally the wrong strategy. <laughs> very soon. Yes. Just have to wait. Yeah, the, the square RPGs are just so fun. I don't even know what, understand what makes it so fun. It's kind of there's there's not much to these games like there's very little strategy it, it's way too easy to re really need strict strategies like some RPGs are just like impossible without grinding yeah the X button is in a very awkward spot
But anyway, it's uh, been playing for about an hour and a half. I my my throat's a bit sore, so I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the ASCII Stick Super L5. I think uh, tomorrow I'll I'll scan the the box and the the controller. There's some other things in here as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the sock was a good idea. It, it definitely is more practical. Yeah. So anyway, I, I, I'll, t I'll scan this and then I'm gonna mail it off to Guy Met who uh, really needs this so that he can enjoy playing Super Nintendo. So anyway, thanks for watching. I, I enjoyed this and hopefully I'll get to do it again soon. <laughs> Alright. Bye-bye.